Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. Well, 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 Bitcoin had a big dump yesterday. Not only Bitcoin, but also the stock market. And currently we are seeing a little breather here. Is it now the time to short or are we just seeing a little pullback that was expected and we are still on our way to the upside? This is what we're gonna see today. And also we are gonna have a look quickly on the stock market as well, especially on the S&P 500, because also there we're gonna have some important um, moving averages that we have to keep an eye on because currently we are trading a below important moving averages and therefore we will go later on into the daily time frame so we can go quickly also through the lower time frames because you're currently in the one hour after being completely oversold if you were watching my live stream yesterday we had this uh, dump here and i was live over on twitch so there we didn't short it because we were waiting for confirmations that the previous support is now acting as a resistance and we didn't get this uh, confirmation and it is possible that currently we are on the way up here to test here the possible new resistance here at around 9550. So if you plan to short maybe watch out for this line here for the $9,550 level in case that you want to short if you think that we are now on the way to the downside. At the moment I'm not yet very convinced that we are breaking very important supports but therefore we have to go into the higher time frames at least here in the one hour it looks like that we're seeing a breather and if we cannot break any more 9550 and also not start to trade again above the 50 in the rsi i think we are potentially again shifted to the downside currently it looks like that we are having a breather so watch out for 9550 if we can close an hour candle above this line then i think we should be good to go again to the upside and this was just a fake out but in case that now this is going to be the new resistance then things could start to look really bearish at least for the lower time frames we can also go over to the bollinger band because currently you can also see that we completely recovered back up here in the upper area so it is possible that currently the momentum is again shifted to the upside and we should see the fight here for this 9550 dollar potentially also go up to 9600 dollar macd is also shifted to the upside so also here it looks like that we have seen already the bigger dump here and we should be now having this breather up to test here new resistance if we can break here this new potentially resistance area here at around 9550 we are still good to go but don't forget that we also in theory should take out the previous highs so we should start to trade again above ten thousand dollar potentially also break ten thousand three hundred in order to be still bullish also for the bigger outlook here for the next couple of days so we can go over also to the four hour time frame and here you can see that currently we are trading below the 20 moving average so as you can see this moving average is now coming down to the main potentially resistance here that we have now here at around 9550 to 9600 dollar also the rsi right now is below the 50 stochastic oversold so here also i'm expecting a retest here of this 9600 and there we're gonna see if it's gonna be the new resistance or not so in case that you want to short this wait here at least to get rejected again and to have the confirmation that 9550 is the new resistance because if we can start to trade again above 9500 that means that the support here at around 9500 is very strong and we should expect here another test of 10,000 and higher and if we go over to the four hour time frame here is this a bit more bearish because here the MACD is still shifted to the downside and also here you can see that we are trading still in the lower part of the Bollinger Band. So between 9520 and 9270 in theory we can even go up here towards 9650 and we would be still shifted to the downside. So everything around 9,600, if we get rejected there, I think uh, it, we have then the confirmation that we are shifted to the downside and we potentially have to open short positions. I'm still not in a trade. Also, if you watch my yesterday's stream, I was telling you that I'm waiting here for confirmations. And also the target was not that far away because we were just uh, dumping from 9,500 down to 9,250. And I didn't want to risk that short because it was very risky and we had no 
confirmations but since we had now this week here to the downside and also we could potentially getting rejected already here at 9550 and if we drop down here and break again this 9300 i think uh, we will see a major drop here to the downside only if we can recover straight back up again and start to trade above the 20 moving average here in the four hour so above 9550 then i think we should be good to go again towards 10,000. So now we can go over to the daily time frame because here as you can see we are trading right now below the 20 daily moving average. So yesterday we closed below the 20 daily moving average. After testing this moving average so many times finally we broke down and we closed below. And now is the big question are we able to trade again above it? Are we able today to close above 9550 or not? because the 20 daily is also lining up at our new resistance and if we are getting rejected there so if we are not able to close the candle immediately again above the 20 daily moving average i think this is our confirmation that we are now shifted to the downside it is possible that we're going to stay a couple of days here between the 50 and 20 daily moving average before we see a breakout but in case of a breakout the target is definitely down here at eight thousand two hundred dollar and you definitely don't want to miss out this short if we really breaking down and the RSI is right at the 50 stochastic coming down to oversold territory so also here we are in a very critical point because in theory we could be easily now shifted to the downside below the 50 in the RSI and we have a lot of room left here to the downside so you see that the target here between the 8200 and the 0.618 fib line of $6400 this area down here is a potential target in case of a drop but therefore I think also the stock market will need to drop if we're gonna see such a big sell-off and if we go over to the Bollinger Band here also you can see that right now we are trading in the lower part so yesterday we closed below the middle line of the Bollinger Band and currently we are also getting rejected here at 9500 we are having resistance of course it's going to be depending how we're going to close today but it looks like that at least for the moment we are struggling to break through here and we could be definitely shifted towards our bearish target maybe the last dump before a big huge bull run so in that case here based on the Bollinger Band we could even drop to 8800 very easily but I think as soon as we're gonna start to trade in this area we are also very easy coming down towards $8,000 and potentially lower again. MACD is now also shifted to the downside so here in the daily it looks like now that we could be in here for a massive uh, dump and what we have seen yesterday was just the beginning. So today is the day of confirmations. If we are getting this confirmation I think I also most likely gonna open a short position, a 10x short position over on Bybit and also on uh, BTR I will do maybe a 20 or 50 50x just to gamble with a small amount as well and if you also want to short or long you can use the links that you find down below here in the video description for these four exchanges with my sign up links you can get some rewards and bonuses currently we have an extra $100 bonus on Bybit if you use my link and you put a deposit of 0.2 Bitcoin until the 20th of June you can get an additional $100 to the $90 that you anyway get uh, from Bybit using my sign up link and now we can go over to the S&P 500 um, here the mini futures because as you can see also here we closed below the 20 daily moving average and currently also here we're seeing a breather and the test here of the 20 daily moving average and here we have the RSI right at the 50 so we could bounce from it but in case that also here we are not able to trade again above the 20 daily moving average so if today we're not going to close above 3050 I think the S&P will start to lead the dump so keep an eye also on the S&P 500 because here also we are in a very critical point so far we got saved from the 200 daily moving average but as I told you if today we're going to close below if we today we cannot recover above things start to look uh, really bearish also here at least for the lower time frames for the bigger time frames everything is still okay and it is still looking very bullish even though as I told you we could be in here for a massive correction before we really start to take off also because everything that is coming up will come down for a correction and on its correction there is where you're gonna see if we are still in an uptrend or not because if here we're not going to take out these lows that we created 
here on the way up, then I think we should be still good to go to the upside because currently we are also creating higher lows. So in theory here also in the S&P 500, everything is still intact and everything good. But in case that we go lower here than this low here, so lower than 2760 or maybe even lower than this low that we had here after the crash of 2170, then I think we're gonna see a really massive uh, dump that possibly will take months or years to recover from it. But currently we are still okay, we're still on the way to the upside, even though if today we're gonna close below the 20 daily, we are definitely shifted to the downside here and we should expect some more downside movements. And if we go over to the weekly time frame, here it looks a bit more bullish. Uh, here we are right now above the 20 weekly and 50 weekly moving average. RSI is also right at the 50. Stochastic is a bit overbought here. So let's see if we can keep up here with these moving averages in the weekly. We could even drop down here towards $2,700 and we should be still good to go to the upside. But let's go back now to Bitcoin. And we can stay here in the weekly time frame because also here you can see that currently we are trading above the 50 and 20 weekly moving average. So in theory, as long as we're closing weekly candles above 8,500, everything is okay. And if we're really gonna see a massive dump, my target is down here where also the 200 weekly moving average is lining up. So everything around $6,000 should be the last opportunity and the last chance to buy really cheap Bitcoins. So in the world, Worst case, I think we could come down to these levels down here, but in theory, we are still now shifted to the upside and we could see a potential break here of the main resistance because so far we didn't break important uh, supports and also the weekly is still looking fine we are trading above the 20 weekly we are above the 15 the rsi stochastic is overbought now maybe we can cool off this week or next week down here before we're gonna take off but here the weekly it is still looking very bullish even though as i told you we could see in the next couple of days this uh, final dump that maybe will happen also because don't forget we were in a bearish pattern here within this rising wedge and if we are not able to break this red line within this rising wedge we are definitely gonna break out to the downside here and the targets if you were following my videos already you would know that it is between eight thousand to six thousand five hundred dollar so in any direction we will go i will be ready so make sure to be ready for all scenarios if we break down you should be able to rebuy cheaper in at around those levels down here so i think it is still not too late to take out a little bit of profits out if you think that we will break down here to the downside it is still not too late currently but today could be the last opportunity before we're gonna see a massive uh, dump here Let's see if this is gonna play out or not. I am ready to short in case that we have this confirmation today and also we start to plunge here and break out from $9,200. And if you also want to take advantage of this uh, dump and make money also going down, you can do that over on Bybit, for example, because here you can trade Bitcoin and other altcoins uh, up to 100x leverage. So also with small amounts, you can gain here some money on the way down. And uh, I'm also using other exchanges like Femex, Primex, BT or BTYARD. When I do high leverage trades with a lot of volume, I usually use BTYARD because on uh, BTYARD, you have a very nice uh, welcome bonus reward system that is based on your trading volume so if you have a high volume on BTR you get much more bonuses up to $250 and that's why when I do high leverage trades with high volume but small amount of money I use BTR because there you can get some bonuses with your traded volume but if you want to do more serious trades like up to 10x 5x then I would go over to Bybit or Femex because those two exchanges are the ones that I mostly recommend. And also there you can also get some very nice uh, bonuses, especially this one here on Bybit where you can get now $100 extra if you put a 0.2 Bitcoin deposit, but you must be registered or open up a new account with my link that you find down below here in the video description. And with that said guys, I'm gonna wrap it up for now. Don't forget to join also our Discord trading chat is completely for free. Everyone is welcome and the live streams over on Twitch. You find both links down below here in the video description. So thank you very much for watching guys and we see us all in the next one. Bye.